Welcome back. As we head into the fall of the year, it's natural to start looking and planning ahead. Whether it's refining our cattle marketing plans, analyzing an equipment purchase to make before year end, or deciding whether to keep a few more heifers to grow our cow herd. In the cattle business, planning ahead is essential to success. In fact, beef industry promotion and policy priorities for 2016 are already in place, thanks to the work done at the Cattle Industry Summer Conference held in Denver back in mid-July. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Russell Nemitz explains why the annual summer conference is so important to the future of the beef industry. More than 600 cattlemen and women gathered in Denver for this year's Cattle Industry Summer Conference. They renewed friendships, made business connections, and heard an update on the cattle market outlook. However, the primary purpose of the meeting was to set the plan of work for beef checkoff and NCBA policy efforts on behalf of U.S. cattle producers for the 2016 fiscal year. Summer meeting is a business meeting. This is a meeting of the Cattlemen's Beef Board and the National Cattlemen's Association. So it's a real business meeting that we're looking at policy and checkoff funded programs. In committee meetings, and as a board of directors, NCBA members reviewed some of the top policy issues facing the cattle industry. For example, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency is moving forward with expanded regulations for waters of the United States, but NCBA leaders say the fight is not over. We are not giving up on that one. Uh, that is so important to our ranches, to my ranch in Wyoming. Uh, to waters that I might have there that are certainly not part of the Clean Water Act and don't need this rule. So we have entered litigation. On July 2nd, we uh, filed uh, a uh, action in court in Galveston, Texas, challenging the constitutionality of the WOTUS rule, along with several other ag organizations and other resource organizations. We are going to work on that issue. We're putting our, our dollars behind uh, what we believe in, and, and we're doing it. On the trade front, there have been some victories in Washington this year with more work ahead to grow beef exports. The one that comes to mind first is our, is our victory on the Trade Promotion Authority. Uh, this was something that was very important for our industry and, and important to our organization. We pushed hard. Uh, we're able to uh, uh, help convince uh, our, uh, both of our Senate and our House of Representatives to support Trade and Promotion Authority. Uh, we've got that through, uh, signed by the President. Now we can encourage our trade negotiators to get back across the water and negotiate a good trade agreement. Uh, the Trans-Pacific Partnership is, uh, is the foremost trade agreement that we want to see signed. That's going to give greater access to world markets for our our uh, cattle and beef products. Strong cattle markets so far this year had everyone at the summer conference in a positive state of mind and looking forward to a profitable 2016. Mood is very upbeat, uh, very positive outlook with uh, the improved moisture situation that we have across the country or most of the country, cow herd expansion that we're seeing going on and, and of course the the continued strong prices in both the stalker and, and feeder level uh, calf prices at uh, near record highs, uh, the mood is very positive. I think the industry is really poised at an interesting point. Uh, there's so much opportunities. Uh, getting uh, easement off of this drought has really helped the industry. And the global demand for our product continues to grow. Exports are now worth over $350 per head on fed cattle. There's such a great potential around the world for our product. Now we're going to start expanding the cow herd this year as a result of the moisture conditions across the country. But demand is good and there's a lot of good things going on in our industry and I think it's very bright right now. It looks like nothing but full steam ahead for the U.S. cattle industry. Reporting from the Cattle Industry Summer Conference in Denver, I'm Russell Nimitz for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.